My name is Nick Brinka. Uh, I was in the Army for four years. I joined uh, right out of high school um, back in January 2013. Uh, my job in the military was a human intelligence collector. Um, it's a fancy way of saying like interrogations and source operations, which uh, for source operations it's kind of like um, when the FBI has informants, we kind of do the same thing with the military. We have uh, people we uh, talk to that gives us information about other things that you know the U.S. government might want to know. So it was definitely a good time, and I enjoyed everything I did, and you know the people I met, and the bonds I had, and, and the leadership. Um, but I definitely wanted to go to school, so I think it was a good stepping stone, especially coming out of high school. Uh, where I didn't do so well. Yeah, having that like experience uh, of the military I think definitely gave me an edge uh, as far as school goes. Uh, I got out August 2016, about three days before school started. Yeah, so I decided to get out. Um, there was about two reasons, uh, two main reasons. One was definitely to go to school and get my degree. Um, I wanted to, you know, take that next step. I had a lot of good mentors in the Army that uh, said, you know, you're young and you've, you know, you've got that drive, so you might as well try and, and like take the next step and push yourself. I want to become an officer in the army because um, I've I've just always been the leader, leader type, you know, uh, wh whether it was from like sports teams or you know class projects or anything like that. And I've always just uh, had that like instinct to take charge or you know to even if I wasn't like taking charge, just to be the first person to volunteer or you know. You know, try it out, you know, whether I was wrong or, you know, whether I'd fail or not, so. Uh, they told me, like, have you ever heard of ROTC? Um, and that, you know, there's a really good program at Syracuse University. It's one of our top ones, and we have good connections with them. I joined different, you know, groups and clubs, met tons of different people I never would have met. Uh, I'm part of the rugby team, uh, the ski team, and uh, the, the student veteran organization here at Syracuse. Rugby is, it's, it's an interesting experience. Um, I think not a lot of people know about it, but it's, it's one of my, it is now my favorite sport. You know, I just picked it up when I got here at Syracuse University. Yeah, getting out it was such a short notice and like moving forward with school is definitely, there was like a couple bumps, you know, getting, like adjusting to going to class versus work and, um, you know, homework and stuff like that, you know. Um, I think one thing that really like I struggled with at first was just getting that schedule down, you know, because you have so much free time now versus when I was in the military, you know, if you weren't training like you were thinking about training or, or getting ready to do it. Um, right now I'm undecided. Uh, I'm hoping to get into Whitman next year for marketing, but uh, yeah, at the moment I'm uh, undecided. Yeah, I definitely like business. That's uh, something that, you know, my father does and um, I don't know, I've always had like kind of that business edge. I feel like definitely as a little kid I was selling lemonade at the lemonade stand or trying to find a way to make extra dollars. Uh, if it was like collecting cans with my brother, you know, we, we'd find a way to make a little bit of extra money. Yeah, uh, some things that motivate me uh, for uh, getting through school would definitely be commissioning as an officer yeah, in the military once I graduate. You know, um, that's kind of why I left in the first place uh, was to come back as an officer and you know, continue a career in the military. And then definitely um, being like the first generation uh, in my family to get a degree. Neither my father or my mother finished uh, college, so uh, not to have like weight on the shoulders, but definitely taking that through and, and being the first one to graduate. Um, for my family would definitely be something that helps motivate me uh, and keeps me in line. So, do I miss the army? Yeah, I, I do. I definitely miss a lot of aspects. You know, uh, you make a lot of friends in, in the army and the military. That uh, it's they're definitely unique friendships that you know you a little bit different, I think, than you know some some person you might just meet at school. You know, because you're doing things with that the, those people that you know. Whether it's laying in the mud or in the rain for two days at a time, you know, you, you kind of build different connections um, with people. And uh, I definitely miss like the structure and the lifestyle, you know, waking up for PT every morning and, you know, getting to work and doing what needs to be done. Once it's done, you can go home and, you know, stay ready for the next day.